Hey everyone, no one's ever accused me of being normal or conventional or doing things the conventional way. And the case of this trailer that I've built, that's very much true. Probably no more so than with the intercom system that I've put together here. Uh, so, hey everyone, my name is Doug. I run a live video production company in Orem, Utah. And over the course of about the last year or so, I've built out this, this uh, live video production trailer. And one of the bigger challenges I had to overcome was how to handle intercom because we're operating over fiber, we're running long, long distances, and some of the old conventional analog technologies might not necessarily work. And so I had to come up with something that would actually work over fiber. Now, fortunately, Blackmagic Design has products that are designed to, to do intercom over fiber. And so that's the solution I've landed on. So I'll show you guys kind of briefly over a high level overview and then I'll get into the nitty gritty and show you um, at, at a detail low level detail level what uh, what's actually going on so first of all the products that I'm using here I have two of these ATEM studio converters here in the trailer each one of these provides fiber optic connection for four cameras so I can do using these devices I can actually do eight cameras that way and then on the other end of the of the of the fiber cable is where these ATEM camera converters come in. So over a fiber connection, we're sending video both directions. So we have video from the camera, return video, program video, usually uh, going back to the camera. And then each of those, because they're just SDI signals, can also carry audio. And what Black Blackmagic has done is they make channels 15 and 16 intercom. And that means you get high quality audio. Uh, and I, I took advantage of this, and so this is basically how I'm making the intercom system in my trailer work. I'm using the fiber optic connections that I'm using to connect to the cameras to also carry intercom. So that way, at the camera, single fiber cable plugs into the camera converter, and then in addition to the video connections, there are also connections here for headsets for intercom. Uh, a couple, couple of advantages that has over some of the other systems out there. I mean, you know, most people are doing intercom these days, doing something that's either based on RTS or ClearCom or something that's compatible. Well, those systems are a little bit difficult to interface with fiber, and so uh, this solution that I've come up with actually works really well for going over fiber, and it has higher quality audio because uh, essentially what's happening is we're just using channels 15 and 16 of the video signal. That means we're getting 48 kilohertz, 24-bit audio for intercom, so it's very, very high quality audio. Now the difficult thing about this was on the side of the studio converter, you see that there's actually only two connections, well technically three, but there's only one input, one output for intercom. And in this trailer, there are eight different stations where people need to be able to communicate with, with the crew that's inside the venue. So when I come up with this, something that's a little bit unique, uh, fortunately, the Studio Converter product does have a way of interfacing external audio with it, and so that's what I've taken advantage of. Now, uh, you'll have to forgive the crudeness of these drawings. I just kind of threw them together, but this will explain fairly well what's going on. So these two units here at the bottom, these are those Studio Converters that I mentioned. And up top, this is a Behringer SRC2496, which is basically... Well, it's, they advertise it as a sample rate converter, but it also does analog to digital and digital to analog conversion, both directions simultaneously. And so I'm taking advantage of that. Uh, these BNC connectors here on the rear of the studio converters output microphone audio and then will accept audio for headphone. So and you can daisy chain them. So for example, if, if we're following the signal path, from the bottom moving up, the microphone output, which is basically all of the camera operator microphones plus uh, any microphone plugged into the front of the unit, uh, that audio is sent over this BNC to microphone input on the second studio converter, where it is then mixed with audio from the next uh, this, ba this batch of four cameras and a local intercom if it happens to be plugged in. And then the output of that sent digitally, this is, these are all digital connections, AES EBU, are uh, sent to the digital input of the Behringer. And that converts it to analog. And I'll show you another diagram here in a minute, what I do with it once, once it becomes analog. Uh, but then it's processed, I mix it with other stuff, and bring the signal back into the analog inputs of this, of this uh, SRC2496. And then the digital output of, of this runs into 
the headphone input of the top studio converter where it's then sent back to camera and then the daisy chain output uh, gets sent down to the first bottom studio converter here and that allows me to send any, any audio that I want to for my trailer back out to camera operators. Uh, so in that way, I can basically do anything I want. So I'm not reliant just on the features that these particular units have. Essentially, at that point, I'm only using them to do uh, transport of signals and to, to do con to do some mixing of the audio from the cameras. Now, if we'll take a look at the next diagram here. So audio coming from, this is the SRC2496 here. So the analog output of that goes into a Behringer X-Air this is an XR16 mixer. Uh, I send it, ha happen to send it to channel 9. Uh, it's a line level input, and so I can get away with not having to use up one of the microphone level inputs. But uh, from there, I can mix it with other sources. Um, you see over here, I've got a diagram of headset showing the output of the headset going into these microphone inputs. And so each of the eight different stations inside the trailer come into this X Air mixer and can be mixed and then. The output of the mixer, the, the, um, well, I'll get to that in a second, but the AUX1 output of this mixer goes back to the uh, Behringer converter, which is which then converts the signal back to digital and then gets sent out through the camera converters. So I'm able to create a mix of pretty much anything I want to. Now, while I'm here, I should also mention that the main outputs of this mixer go to this headphone amplifier. This is a Behringer, I forget the exact model number on it, but but it's a Behringer headphone amplifier, and then it has eight outputs that then run to the eight stations inside the trailer. <clears throat> and this unit actually are, has a second set of inputs, a second pair of inputs, uh, channel B, if you will, and I have the AUX2 output of the mixer running into that channel B. That way I can switch any of the eight from an A channel to a B channel. So a sec I can essentially run two different intercom channels that are fully independent of one another, at the same time. The, the downside is uh, the camera converters don't know how to handle a second channel so I haven't integrated the second channel in with the cameras but generally speaking cameras will always be on on channel A. So uh, that's kind of the, the gist of it. And so that essentially allows me to use that Behringer mixer to create whatever sort of a mix I want just for intercom. And because this is all high quality audio, it actually sounds really, really good. And I'll give you guys a demonstration of that here in a little bit. So the other thing I wanted to note here before I go off the slide is that uh, inputs 13 and 14 uh, and then auxiliary outputs 3 and 4 patch over into my audio booth in my trailer so I can essentially do anything I want to with that. Uh, if I wanted to mix in another source or if I wanted to take that audio, convert it to Dante and then send that out uh, over my fiber snake into a venue to integrate with another system there, I can. Or if I eventually do end up getting a Clearcom or RTS system that I can integrate in with that using a four wire interface. So it's just, it's just basic analog audio there so I can really do anything I want to with it. Um, the other thing that I'll mention here, um, the, audio, the audio inputs 13 and 14 here, those are actually program audio, and so I can actually include program audio in stereo uh, in the headsets. Then this headphone amplifier that goes through all the different stations in the trailer, I am operating that in stereo, and so anybody that's in the trailer wearing a pair of stereo uh, headset, or wearing a stereo headset, can hear program audio in stereo. So. Um, a lot of nifty stuff going on there. Now, uh, looking into a little more detail here about what's going on. So I'll pull up the X-Air edit software. This is the software that actually controls that Behringer mixer. and let you guys see what's going on here. So within the trailer, the first eight inputs here are the different stations. So I've got the director, technical director, a front auxiliary, uh, CG, PTZ camera control, instant replay, audio, engineering, and then this ninth input is the audio coming from the cameras. So each one of those gets its own its own input on the mixer. Therefore, I can control levels. I can do separate equalization. If I need to do effects processing on for, for whatever reason, I can. I can do compression. I can do gates. Whatever, in order to clean up that audio and make it really sound good. The other feature, cool feature that this Behringer mixer happens to have is auto mixing. Uh, you notice that on a lot of these channels, there's this X. And so uh, channel X of the auto mixer, I've assigned to basically all of the speech 
audio inputs as well as program audio and that allows me to automatically have the mixer control levels and so I can also prioritize them so I've got priority for the director and technical director so if they speak they actually take precedence over other people who might be speaking at the time now I don't typically use this auto mix feature but it is there and it can help to make to create uh, an environment where camera operators can always hear the director no matter what's going on so it's very handy now let me let me drill in a little bit a little bit more here so if I go into technical director and uh, so I've got a noise gate set on there so if if the tra trailer happens to be kind of noisy it, the, the, the gate will close the microphone unless the person is actually speaking I've got a little bit of an equal, equal, equalizer going on there so there's a low cut to get rid of any rumble and then just a mild presence boost and to increase intelligibility and then I've got a compressor on there which helps to keep the levels constant so whether I'm speaking quietly or whether I get loud the audio level going to the camera operators remains relatively constant so they're not having to turn the volume up and down all the time in order to be able to hear me no matter what's going on there all right so the other thing I mentioned a minute ago is that uh, the, uh, the output of this mixer that goes back into the studio converters comes from auxiliary one of the, the mixer so if I click on bus one here you'll see what that mix looks like and what this actually allows me to do is create a totally different mix for the camera operators compared to what's going on inside the trailer so for example if the camera operators are complaining that program audio is too loud I can either turn it up or mute it entirely and then they don't have to worry about it but yet us in the trailer we can actually hear better what's going on in the venue because we're able to hear the program audio so some some cool advantages there um, so bus one is uh, the aux send one which goes to the studio converters uh, bus two is as you can see it's, it's all turned down here but it goes to the B input of the headphone amplifier in the trailer so that's that would be used to create a secondary channel of, of intercom and then the bus three and four those go out to my audio booth so I can then run them through my main patch bay and or audio mixer and then five and six are not used because uh, there's no actual output on those but uh, so bottom line is because I've got this mixing capability and I've got things like gates and compressors and equalizers at my disposal I'm able to really make that intercom audio sound sound great you know most of the other intercom systems that I've used you know I've recently with just in the last uh, couple of months I've been I've been uh, involved in projects where they used some wireless intercom systems and then we did a clear comm system and we've used a couple other ones and they just don't sound that good especially in comparison to what I've created here and I'm gonna give you guys a demonstration here in a minute of what that intercom audio actually really sounds like so you'll be able to hear exactly what the camera operators are hearing now before I put the headset on and let you guys hear the intercom audio I wanted to make uh, one other uh, point about the way this is set up so because each of the different stations in the trailer it has its own dedicated audio input on the mixer that allows me to mute or control the level on each channel individually so say for example if uh, somebody in the trailer is on the phone and they forget to switch off their microphone I can I can just hit a button and mute their individual channel or if we've got somebody who's got a much louder voice I can go in there and turn that down so just a lot of a lot of flexibility, a lot of freedom that that are come with uh, with doing audio and intercom audio in this way. All right, that said, I'll pop on the headset and let you guys hear what this sounds like. All right, so now you're hearing just the intercom audio. Uh, you'll notice right away that it's quite intelligible, uh, not just because the microphone is right up and right up against my face, but also because I have the compressor going on because I have. Uh, low cut on there which eliminates any low frequency rumble and then I've also got a uh, presence boost in order to make sure that the sibilants you know really stand out and are clear the other thing you'll notice is that the because of the compressor the audio level is uh, very much consistent whether I speak very quietly or whether I get a lot louder the audio level that's going out to the camera operators does remain very constant very consistent they're not having to tweak uh, volume control in order to make sure that they can hear me at all times. The other thing you might notice is there's a gate there. Uh, in the background there's actually a fan running at the moment but when I'm not talking you don't hear it because the gate is closing the microphone as long as I'm not speaking. 
the audio has to reach some critical level before it actually becomes audible. Now, there's, there's some silly things that I can do here, too. For, say, for example, I can run audio for any of these channels through an effects process. So, so in this case, I can, uh, for example, lower my voice or do anything else I wanted. So I can run through a pitch shifter or uh, a reverb or anything else that I wanted to happen to do. Uh, just kind of fun to mess around with camera, camera operators like that when you when you kick in an effect like that. But uh, but that power is the, is there. It's available on tap at any given time. So now, if you guys have any questions about what I've done here, uh, feel free to ask that down in the comment section down below. I, I do try to respond to each question as quickly as possible. Uh, you can also reach me through my website. That's djprod.biz, and there is a contact us link down there at the bottom of the page, and you can get to me through there. If this sort of system interests you, I've got some links down in the description down below where you can get some of this equipment. Uh, I appreciate you using those links because those do help to fund the channel. If you guys have any other suggestions or whatever, please let me know. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.